Hey everyone, it's Davikap here. So for a while I've been wanting to make a video about metals and the idea has sort of been rattling around in the back of my brain. I sort of have a problem with metals where I think they're a little bit dangerous, but I wasn't quite able to put my complaint into words. So I've been sort of just letting it simmer in the back of my mind. But finally I had a game where it just kind of clicked with me and I realized, aha, now I, now I fully understand why, what my problem is with metals. So to set the stage, this is actually the game that you're watching right now where I sort of realized it. To set the stage, my team was trying to take the first choke point of Hanamura, and we were kind of having a little bit of a rough time. So we had, uh, you know, the Reinhardt versus Reinhardt at the front door, and we were having trouble getting past that Reinhardt with the sort of just initial choke point. And I think some of that problem was that we didn't have a whole lot of offensive power. We had Symmetra and um, Kree were sort of our main damage dealers, and they were having a lot of trouble breaking through the Reinhardt shield and getting the sort of foothold that we needed to take the door. Our Reinhardt was also a little bit cautious, so we were just having trouble getting steam. The Widowmaker and the Genji were doing their best to get some picks, and um, I believe they were doing that somewhat reasonably, but just all together we were sort of stalling out a little bit. And sort of like around this point, I'm sort of trying to evaluate, you know, okay, I've got my ults, I saw that the McCree used his ult there. Uh, you know, the enemy Mercy has the ult. Like, that that exchange did not go in our favor. I didn't see any point in using ult there. It just wouldn't have, have helped us really. And at this point, I'm sort of really starting to understand that this fight isn't going well. So I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. What could go better? What's the situation? So I'm noticing that the Symmetra, and here I say, I say, Symmetra, can you please switch out? I'm trying to be polite. Um, I'm just noticing that she hasn't been putting down her teleporter. So we're basically down one teleporter. I assume that she's been wait she's waiting until we get past this choke pole so she can put a teleporter down somewhere. And uh, that, that was a correct assumption. She does that later. But I was thinking, you know, we're down one um, ultimate because she's not using her ultimate. We're, Symmetra doesn't have a whole lot of offensive punching through power. And here's a response. She just says, silver damage, if you guys would just go in with Genji flanks, we'd be good. Okay, so. First of all, I want to say I'm not really criticizing the Symmetra. She was, you know, doing a decent job that game. She was playing well. I mean, silver damage is a pretty decent accomplishment. And when we got the first checkpoint, um, she put down a teleporter and she was pretty critical to the eventual victory. However, what I do want to talk about is that philosophy she has, that attitude, and how it's kind of dangerous thinking. So we were we were kind of stalled out. We were we were not doing well. I mean, we're, we finally punched through now, but before that, we were just not really in a winning situation. And I, you know, said a suggestion which I thought was a useful suggestion, which was to switch off a Symmetra so we could have a little bit more offensive power and so that we could gain an ult. And her response was to say that because she had silver damage, she should not do that. Like, that's, and here's, here's, my, here's my response, which is trying to offer a little perspective, which is, you know, Metals don't mean much when we're losing, which is kind of true. So, like, let's 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 evaluate the situation. Here's here's who's on our team right now. We have a Mercy, a Reinhardt, a McCree, a Symmetra, a Widowmaker, and a Genji. So you have to ask yourself, who's actually going to be dealing damage in this situation? Certainly not Mercy, right? Certainly not Reinhardt because he's going to have his shield up most of the time. So the only real potential damage dealers are McCree, Widowmaker. And Genji and Symmetra. Now, Widowmaker isn't really known for her damage output. She's going to have a high kill count, but not a super high damage count because she's just not all about, you know, pumping damage into people. So we can probably reasonably conclude, like, exclude her from getting, you know, really high medals. Then you've got um, the Genji, who, you know, once again is more focused on kills than dealing lots of damage. So if you compare that to Symmetra, who's just sort of like sitting out in the front lines and just launching right click after right click into Reinhardt shield and the enemy teams. Yeah, she's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, she's she's gonna get a silver medal. That's reasonable to expect. It's she just was, you know, successfully doing her job. She was she was dealing the damage that you would expect her to deal. However, like pointing to that and saying, yes, because I have silver silver damage, because I'm I'm you know making a contribution of damage to my team. Therefore, I'm not the problem and I shouldn't switch out. I think that's kind of a dangerous way to think because let's let's take this to the most extreme example. Let's suppose that your team has five kills and the enemy team has 50 kills, right? You're just getting absolutely destroyed in some totally absurd level. 
And you, as, let's say, a Widowmaker, have gold medal kills, which, you, you know, is kind of reasonable to expect from a Widowmaker. And someone says, oh my gosh, we're losing, we need to change our strategy, um, let's, let's, let's switch around and try something else. And the Widowmaker says, I've got, five, I've got gold medal kills, I've got four kills of our five, I'm not the problem. Yeah, that's that's not really that's not really accurate. When you're in that situation, that's kind of the effective. That's like the equivalent of saying, um, "I'm I've got gold medal in gold medal in one category of our losing strategy, so we're losing, and this this thing that we're doing is not working. But I'm the best at one of the things with this losing strategy, and that's that's kind of a dangerous philosophy because it number one it sort of misses the point. It's saying you know. We're losing, and I don't really understand why we're losing, because I'm just focused on damage and kill count, and I'm not really realizing that the reason why we're losing is because we can't get through this chokehold, or because we're not coordinating well, or because we're going in one at a time, right? That's, that's sort of intangible stuff that you're not going to really see unless you ignore the numbers, because that's just sort of very, very abstract things about the game. Secondly, it, it really encourages this philosophy of, oh well, not my problem. Like, I'm, I'm good, my teammates are bad, my teammates are the problem, they're the reason why we're losing. So I just need to keep playing well, and if my teammates would just get their heads out of the sand and start doing well, then we could win this game. And that's it's not a collaborative or cooperative or productive way of thinking. So, you know, it's kind of a complicated situation. Like, yes, the Symmetra was doing a decent job. I'm not really criticizing her gameplay. And yes, the teleporter that she put at the end was pretty useful towards getting that final checkpoint. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not criticizing her gameplay. I just felt like in that situation, uh, we didn't have an ult because she was refusing to put it down. So it was basically five ults versus six ults. Uh, we were having a lot of trouble punching through that chokehold. So I felt like we could use a little more offensive power. So I think it's important to take a step back and sort of take medals with a grain of salt. Yes, medals can give you very useful information to determine how well you're doing. Like, if you're playing a Mercy and you've got gold medal kills, then that can tell you right off the bat that something is very wrong with the game. Something's wrong with your damage dealers. If you're playing, you know, Junkrat and you've got gold gold medal in damage, then that can tell you, yeah, you're you're doing at least something right. You're dealing the damage that you or are supposed to be doing. If you're like Genji or Widowmaker and you have gold or silver and kills, so once again, that's that's the game telling you, yes, you're basically doing your role well to some extent. But gold medals aren't an indicator of if you're winning the game and how to win your game. Just because you're a Genji with gold and kills, just because you're a Mercy with gold and healing, just because you're a Junkrat or Bastion with gold and damage, that doesn't mean that the thing that you're doing is helping your team win. I mean, it's important to understand that there's more to the game than just numbers, and that no matter what, someone on your team must have a gold medal. I think that's the most important thing to understand, is that no matter how badly you're doing, if, if, it's, if it's one kill on your team versus 100 kills on their team, the person who made that kill is going to have the gold medal, right? You, you guys are doing terribly. <laughs> one, one kill is awful. It's... It's just terrible, it's, it's inexcusable. But that's what the system will do because it's set up to reward the best in your team in whatever category. So if your team's just doing badly and you're not getting many kills and you've got you know, just a handful of kills, but you as a very high burst assassin character has managed to get more kills than the rest of your team, that doesn't excuse at all what you're doing in the situation. It doesn't mean that you're, you're carrying your team. It just means that your team's sucking and everyone's not getting more many kills, you included. But just but because you're an assassin, because you're a high damage dealer, you're able to get slightly more kills than you know the Mercy and the Reinhardt, who aren't really known for getting high kill counts. No, that's that's not really a safe way of thinking. That's that's unproductive, and it misses the point. So I just want to remind people that medals are a tool. They are a tool that can help you better understand what's going on with your team, what you're doing well, what you're doing badly, and that. That information is useful to develop a winning strategy. But medals don't tell you if you have a winning strategy. They help you get there, but they are not the destination. You could have gold medal kills, you could have gold medal. Okay, let's 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 okay, so let's actually take this philosophy. This philosophy of um, I've got gold medals, therefore I'm the best in, the, in my team, so I'm not the problem, and we're still losing. Okay, let's take this philosophy and just say, let's assume that you're right. Let's assume that you've got five terrible teammates, and you're the only one who's doing well. 
So if that's the case and you're still losing and you say to yourself, okay, well, you know, I've got gold damage, I've got gold kills, I've got gold objective time, I'm not the problem, my teammates are, and we're still losing, then why on earth would you think that the best strategy is to keep doing what you're doing? That, like that would tell you the opposite. That would tell you you're the best chance your team has for any sort of redemption. But despite your best efforts, what you're currently doing is not working. So perhaps you as the team savior should play something else and perhaps try and coordinate more. Maybe, maybe you're better than your teammates and therefore your best use of your time isn't to run around and get kills that your teammates can capitalize on. Maybe it's to say, hey guys, let's, let's group up on the, on the checkpoint. Let's gather around me. Let's, I'm going to switch to Reinhardt. I'm going to spam group up behind me and hopefully we can get a group push together. And sure, maybe you're not as good as Reinhardt, but you know, because you know more than your teammates because you're playing better than them, you can get them to coordinate around you. And you know, that's kind of an extreme example. I think realistically, most of the time, people who get gold medals in you know, a couple of categories aren't necessarily the one redeeming force in their team that everyone else is better than them. I think that realistically, it's that you know, they're just not coordinating well or the team comp is not good. Some sort of larger scale meta problem that needs to be addressed. So you know, just keep that, keep that in mind moving forward. Gold medals are useful. They give you use for information, but don't use them as a crutch. If you use them as a crutch to excuse things that you don't want to do, I don't want to heal because I've got gold medal kills. You know, I don't, I'm not the problem because I've got gold objective time. If you do that, then you're hurting your team. You're really hurting yourself, to be honest. All right, well, let me know what you think about this. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Dabakab out.